I'm a graduate of VT. My sister Rima was killed in Norris Hall in her French class. I'd like to first thank the General Assembly for all the work you guys did in closing the mental health loophole. Because of your work, those adjudicated mentally ill and deemed dangerous to themselves and others cannot by law purchase a firearm. Yet there's still an issue that has not been dealt with yet. Those very people blocked from purchasing firearms can still buy them at a gun show from a private seller. No questions asked, no background checked. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure most of you haven't been to a gun show before. And I myself never knew how easy it was until I experienced it. I was able to buy guns from private sellers, not a single question asked, not my, my ID hadn't been checked once. Um, they, they never asked if I was of age, they never asked if I was criminal or terrorist, involved in any gangs, crimes, anything. They asked me nothing. In just under one hour, it's possible for someone who's mentally ill, someone who's been convicted of rape, <coughs> murder, someone in a gang, or even a terrorist to get their hands on pistols, sniper rifles, and assault weapons. The first purchase I made was an assault, uh, assault weapon. I believe that we all as Americans can agree that keeping guns out of the hands of those who should not have them is a good thing. I immediately turned my guns over to Richmond police, but would a terrorist do that? Probably not. If you don't believe that it's possible for anyone, anyone to have a small arsenal of weapons to <laughs> purchase at a, from a gun show unchecked in under an hour, just go to a gun show and try it yourself. It only takes one person going unchecked, whether they're mentally ill, rapist, terrorist. It's not just about stopping April 16th from happening again. This is a public safety issue that needs to be dealt with immediately.